Monday and Tuesday. What's interesting is with Debbie to our east, it is helping pull down a weak front. So at times you may notice the humidity is lower later this week and Sunday and uh, Saturday and Sunday or so. I think the humidity will be a slightly lower across the deep south. Now this is what's left of Debbie. It's still a tropical storm, 45 mile per hour winds. The wind field on this thing has grown in size. It's very, very large now, and this is continuing to bring flooding rains to parts of South Carolina and into North Carolina. Now, now eventually this is moving to the north, tracking through North Carolina, Virginia, up along the east coast from New York to Boston. So they're going to see some rain from this all the way up into really New England by the end of this week. So interestingly enough, Debbie is well going to be around until the end of the week here before it finally dissipates. Elsewhere in the tropics, this tropical wave, I'm still not worried about it. The chances of development have dropped only at 10% now in the next seven days. We don't expect it to really do anything in the next few. It's just simply too close to Central America and it's going to hug the coastline there. So it will have a brief opportunity to spin up some in the southwestern Gulf by early next week, but that's about it. Right now, our thinking is it gets trapped under the heat ridge, stays weak, and that's what's left of it. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a major impact to anyone. So here we go. The tropical wave moving towards the Yucatan by this weekend. Southwestern Gulf early next week. And as long as that ridge stays there and as long as the tropical wave stays weak, it will stay trapped underneath it. Can't get up to us with that ridge pushing down on it. So that's what we like to see. We call that the heat ridge. We also call that a blocking high because it can block anything from coming our way, at least with the setup it has right now. So our weather impact alerts are here the next three days. That's for intense heat and no rain. Our temperatures will moderate into the 90s with a couple showers this weekend, but not a whole lot of rain there either. And then rain chances staying quite low next week. Our ACs are going to be in overdrive, so keep that in mind. Our Gulf has a small craft use caution this morning. That's going to run until 9 a.m. It is slightly choppier. Tomorrow, northwest winds continue and northwest winds on Friday as well at 10 to 15 knots. High tide's going to happen during the late afternoon and low tide's happening in the early morning hours.